We have here black, Naples yellow, ultramarine violet, and white. So I mixed black. I'm taking black, mixing it with Naples yellow, which makes it, gives it a greenish kind of tone. And it's like an earthy green. And I'm going to kind of muddy green actually. And I'm going to put ultramarine violet to make it darker. Um, I'm not sure if we need right now to use white. I think it'll be okay because it's gonna dry darker anyway. Um, so we can adjust and I'm using a round brush, small one, so I can control the, the, uh, brush stroke. Um, it, it is not a, an important detail. It's there, but it's not very important. You know? So don't, don't spend too much time on it because by the time we start adding uh, stuff on the table and on the walls and um, you're not gonna, you're gonna hardly see this uh, part. So just enjoy it and have fun painting it. If you find that your, your color is not uh, moving, your brush is not moving easily, um, add a bit of water to your, dip your brush or the tip of your brush in water. Uh, it helps. This afternoon, I was telling the ladies that when I'm doing a demo, I was talking too much when I was doing the demo, like not talking, talking about anything, you know, talking about the what I'm doing, I realized that usually m me personally, when I'm watching someone um, do it, you know, do a demo, I don't like it when they talk. Mm -hmm. I just want them to be quiet so I can watch what they do. Hey, that looks like a table. Mm -hmm. Oh, it has, well, you know what? It has a tr like a, another layer down here. Uh, I'm gonna ignore that if you don't mind. Uh, I'm gonna put the back leg right here, somewhere here. Okay, that looks good. Let's do the top. Are you using the same blend of color or are you making yep. it bigger? No, no, same blend. I'm putting a layer first of this uh, taupey, taupe, taupe color. I use white, I, I highlight or use the white uh, usually carefully, you know, I, I, I like, I don't like to put a light color um, over dark right away. I like to go slowly. Um, I'm scared of white. It just 
is, uh, white is uh, a strong color that uh, requires if it's if it's done you know if you put white and your color is too light it's very hard to darken that color sorry i have to move this sideways um it it can be it, it, you know it's no problem it can be fixed but uh, you have to wait for it to dry because what happens is white keeps absorbing the color when you're putting it like the dark color that you're trying to put on top white keeps absorbing it if it's if it's not if it's not dry if it's dry no problem all right <coughs> black, Naples yellow, ultramarine violet. And I'm adding a little bit more white now to the same mixture. So I'm highlighting a tiny bit more. So what I'm gonna do is come here and see if this is enough highlight. Uh, I think, yes, that's good. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Sorry, Leo, did you put white, like did you put titanium white for the highlight or Naples? Yes, it, no, titanium white. Yeah, that's what I used, titanium white. And because I can see that the highlight is on one side of the table and it's on this side, on the right, yeah, right side. Okay, I, I think I need to darken a bit this area. First layer was not... Uh, it's the reflected light from the sofa, I think. That's why there's light. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. I think so too, yeah. So, but I can see as well that uh, part of that um, table, um, the top part, mostly right here, where this, mm -hmm. um, th this piece of wood is on top, casting a shadow over this, yep. right? Over the side. So I need to darken this more. I'm using a little bit more black and ultramarine violet, right here. So now I have a shadow, which is great. It looks, it looks, uh, it looks good. Um, there is a drawer. I don't know if you want to put it. It's up to no. you. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quick, quick uh, answer. No. I agree. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take a bit of uh, white again, the small brush, tiny brush, mix it with my base color, which is black, Naples yellow, ultramarine violet. And kind of uh, highlight this a bit more. Because you know how acrylics dries darker, you know, just, uh, just highlight this more. And really, honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect. And it's not going to be perfect. It's a painting. Okay. 
just adjust the, the, the highlight a bit because it keeps drawing uh, darker. And if I find that uh, by the time this is dry, it's going to look, um, it's going to look too, uh, too bright. I can always soften this by glazing it, adding the same color I have here, the base color, these three, with uh, making sure that my color is transparent, so adding more white to it, and then just go over it, and that will just kind of tone it down. Now, I'm going to do the top. This is going to require... This is going to require some cheating. Oh. Yes. <laughs> it's a good so, idea. Yeah. yeah. There's no way I can do that with a brush, a straight line. Mm. Um, this is good enough. Uh, take. So the the highlight. What what kind of uh, colors they are? Same, same base color. Okay. Let's do that. Black. Yes. Naples yellow. That gives us a muddy green. Yes. Uh, a bit of the ultramarine violet and white. Okay. Lots of white though. Ah, no. No? Good. good. I'm, I'm glad you said that. Slowly add your white. No, because you, okay. you, we're going to put white. It's going to be light, lighter. Yeah. Light. Yes, yes, yes. But I you know what I mean? Like, let's let's add it slowly because you know what happens when you add a white or a light light color right away. Um, it, it, there's no depth, and if you want to add some uh, shadows, this is going to be a bit hard. So this is. And voila, ha. Uh -huh. Okay, now. I'm going to come here. So light is coming from the window. That means this vase, there should be a shadow. Um, the vase is going to be casting a shadow over the table. So you highlight all around, but you leave where the vase is. And don't, don't just the shape, not only just the shape of the vase, the flowers that are going to be in the vase are going to be casting a shadow on the table too. Isn't that wonderful? Because then we don't have to highlight too much. <laughs> very much. You're very excited. Yes, I am. That's <laughs> me, me too. Yeah, less work. Okay. Ah, okay, this, this table needs to be adjusted, but we'll do that later. Okay, good. Shall we highlight the back a bit, maybe? Just a bit. Okay, so now I can see that um, the thickness of that top, the thickness of this 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 piece of wood right there, is um, kind of wishy washy. Can't see it. So another trick is getting a any. Any black pencil crayon for now, just for now. It's not going to be, uh, I'm not going to be doing this. Uh, I just want to see it. I want to see how, before I start adjusting. Okay, so now I can see that my line is straight. I can do two things, either highlight this a bit more, this part, or darken a bit more down here. And I think it's easier to use just 
a bit of black, mix it with your the color of the table with no with no white, and just go, come here and. Let's try to add shadow down here, stronger shadow. Okay. Okay. Now, this is drying darker, which is good. I'm going to add slowly a bit more white to the same mixture. See, I'm increasing the amount of white carefully, slowly. Because I can, I can uh, gauge the how 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 light I want this to be. Maybe a little bit more whiter, closer to the window here. I think it's good. All right. What colors? Okay, same, same. Same like the table. Are black. we seeing light, very light? No. No, not yet, because we're going to do this part here. Oh, not this one. This one was. We're going to do the bottom part, uh, this part. So we need this to be dark. Okay. And. Uh, That doesn't look dark. But, okay. Do you want it darker? Here, we'll so, add. <laughs> so, uh, I, did you put white in it or titanium buff at all? Maybe, maybe it was laced with white. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I mean, it, it just it maybe a bit, um, but it, it's going to dry darker anyway because it's over uh, a, a black, right? So it will dry darker. And okay. if it's dry darker, it's okay. Because um, once we start highlighting this, this is gonna be, it's gonna look darker. No? Mm -hmm. No. Does it make sense? No, I'm not making sense right now. Yeah. <laughs> Are you using the same colors as the table? Yes. Okay. Uh, make your your color a bit um, watery, just a bit, not much. All I'm doing is I'm putting a base color right now of a darker. All right. I will need to move my hand this way. So this is not straight. This is not a table. Um, it's a, and we're going to, I'm gonna show you in a minute. We don't want it to be, oops, I should go this way. All right. Let's, let's just cover this. If you make your color a bit, more uh, transparent, not transparent, a bit watery, not too thick. Uh, the black underneath will show more, um, the black gesso, and it will make your color dry even darker. 
Okay, so I can see here that I need to darken a bit more my color. So I'm gonna take a bit more black and a bit of the ultramarine violet. The cushion is casting a shadow over the seat, the seat cushion over the lower part of this, this chair. So we need to do that. We need to put that color in there. Okay. The part as it's coming towards you is getting wider, huh? The cushion? The top cushion, yeah. As it's getting towards you, it's getting wider. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's true, and it goes, in, but it goes in here a bit more, like it's not straight. No, I think he's talking about perspective. Is that what you're yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So this is, this should be, okay, so this, this right here should be smaller. Yeah, that's it. Or wider in the part. Or wider here. Okay. We'll fix that after. Okay, so let, let's let's leave this to dry and uh, let's come over here um, for the top top part. Uh, we can add a bit of white in here. But not too much white. So we can leave some room for us to highlight. All right, now I'm gonna go in with darker. So I'm taking darker color and I'm putting it in right now. And now even darker. So I'm gonna take black and ultramarine violet with the base color and just so i have in one one arm in that this one area dark medium light All right now, um, let's add a bit of fix this color a bit. It's getting muddy. Yeah. Very much so. <laughs> okay. White. Bit of white. So, all right, let's see. I don't know when I'm gonna change this. Um, <laughs> this uh, really awful um, brush. I have six of them. I keep <laughs> using the. Glad I'm not the only one. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna use it until the last. Yep. Especially now because you know everything's closed. It's like, okay, when am I gonna get yeah. one? So this is why I don't start with strong light because I need, I need this 
and I'll show you in a minute. I'm just putting just a base color. I need to leave room for highlighting. If I start with a strong white or a strong light, lighter color of the same way I see it in the picture, there's no room to highlight. All right, now I'm gonna add a bit of white to the color and try to create of kind of a movement of the softness of that fabric. So you're putting shadows anyway, right? I'm putting highlights right now with the yeah. more white and trying to, you know, see where I can, I see a highlight. I see the, you know, fabric stretched or uh, not even and try to do that. And then I'll go back and uh, add shadows. Try to go back and forth between light and dark and add shadows and lights. I give up. I have to start. I have to. Okay. Oh, my God, this is not easy. No, it's not. <laughs> Let's try to highlight this part. Maybe it will help. Does it have piping on that? I, yeah, I will put the piping after. Sure. Yeah, there's a piping in here. Okay. Ingrid, this is like the um, this is like the um, um, magnolia today, the the, okay. the green of the leaf. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I, I I I am highlighting a bit more here, but actually I'm <clears throat> going over this uh, dark that I put first, and I'm softening this dark because 
I find that when I highlight, if I'm highlighting from dark to light right away, it doesn't look good. It needs that transition in between, um, between the dark and the light. It needs a kind of a, a buffer, a softer color. Um, when you highlight from strong white to dark, dark, dark next to it, white and dark right next to each other, it is really kind of, uh, uh, it looks um, flat. It looks harsh. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back to this dark color here. And, and just at the bottom, try... to softly kind of if this works i'm going to send the picture to the person who took the the painting uh, the, <laughs> this is the way it should be <laughs> it doesn't work yeah. I'm using black right now, just black and I'll, um, even if I'm using, like even with the black right now, it's uh, still not dark enough. That looks like uh, suede. Yes. It doesn't look like, uh... all right, I'm gonna use a bit of a highlight. Try to put piping. Oh, this this piping on top needs has to be uh, really what white hmm okay. let's do it the other way around let's put dark instead of light i can't highlight more more in here so i'm gonna Do we have to put the piping? Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. <laughs> My car still looks like. Okay, sorry, I have to turn it around so I can Yes, I have piping. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. That's good. All right. Um, this is going to be, oh, this is too strong. I'm trying to do the same thing down here. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
right, ladies? Honestly, we don't have to have piping at the bottom. Okay, top is part is okay enough, right? Yes, please say yes. 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 Yes, teacher. Right. <laughs> Absolutely right. Yeah. The only thing it goes from gray to green to white. Oh, I'm is that what you're getting? Yes. Um, I've got a point. Green, white. Oh, man, that's hard. Okay. All right, forget about the piping at the bottom. I'm, I'm going to fix this. Um, this is too much work. Um, let's do the highlight right here. Highlight this arm. Just white? Uh, no, no, uh, white with, uh, with, with the, the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, but a bit lighter on top here. Okay, and then uh, let's go medium tone now. I'm going to glaze this. And get rid of that attempt to do a, to show a piping. <laughs> 